Hey, what's going on everyone? It is fantastic to see you again. My name's Grant, I'm an American English teacher, and on this channel I share lessons every week to help you become a better, more confident English speaker, and learn about American culture. I've already made a couple of videos on this channel about really common mistakes that I hear English students make in their speaking. Today I have a similar topic. We are going to talk about five words that students use pretty often and they're either awkward and unnatural or just not nearly as common as students think. I'm going to explain why the words are unnatural and I will tell you what you should say instead to sound like a natural, confident English speaker. The first word I want to tell you guys about is the word alcohol. Now, very commonly when I'm with a student, I'll ask them, oh, what did you do on the weekend? And they'll say, I drank alcohol with my friends. This is a little bit awkward and here's why. If you are an adult, and you say, I drank with my friends, everybody knows that you're talking about alcohol. You don't have to specify. It's just implied that you meant you went to a bar and you drank alcohol. So it's a lot more natural just to say, I drank with my friends or I went out drinking with my friends. You can use this word if you're asking about a drink. For example, Let's pretend you're at a restaurant and you're looking at the menu and you ask the waiter, excuse me, does this drink have alcohol in it? That is fine. But generally when you're going to a bar, drinking with friends, you don't need to include the word alcohol. Another overused word that's a little bit unnatural is the word shocked. I hear students say like, oh, I am so shocked over things that honestly are not that shocking. The problem here, the word shock, if you feel shocked, you are extremely surprised. Like you can't even speak. You're so surprised and amazed and confused by what you just saw. So you should only say that you're shocked if something is really serious and really surprising. If a student starts class with me and maybe I got a new haircut and the student says, oh, I'm shocked, that's not really a shocking situation. That would be a little bit awkward. Instead, you can just say, I'm surprised. That's much more natural. The next word is handsome. And to be honest, I don't really know why, but this word is just not as common as you think. I have probably been called handsome more in the three years I lived in Korea than the entire 24 years that I've lived in America. I think English students and people learning English use this word a lot more often than actual native speakers. What sounds a little bit more natural is if you just say that a guy looks cute or hot or he just looks good. If you don't know the difference between cute and hot, I actually made a video about that you should check that out when you're done watching this one. The next word is delicious. I mentioned earlier how students might say, I drank alcohol with my friends, and that's a little bit awkward. Another awkward phrase I hear all the time is, I ate delicious food. I don't really know why, but native speakers, we don't really use the word delicious. It's not nearly as common as English students think it is. Instead, you can just say, I ate great food or I ate really good food. Those are much more natural. The final word that I have is market. The problem here is that a lot of students will use the words store and market the same way, but they are not the same thing. I will show you some photos. This is an example of a store. Usually it's pretty large, there are aisles, there are cash registers. And here's an example of a market. This is usually where local people who make goods or who are selling food that they've grown, they will all come together 
and there are many little tables with different people selling things. So when a student says, I bought something at the market or I went to the market, probably 99% of the time, they actually mean that they went to the store. If you want to be more specific, you could say, I went to the department store, which is a large store. I went to the grocery store, which is a store that sells food, or the supermarket, which can also be used instead of grocery store. Okay, that is all for this video. Hopefully that made sense, guys. If you have any questions, you can drop them below. Keep studying hard, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.